in Africa, we, we're faced with a huge challenge, you know, remote distances uh, between patients and providers, access to good healthcare facilities. You know, technology can cross these bridges and, and, and really reduce the divide between service provision. And also, again, just uh, in terms of most industries, give the, the patient the ability to, to really take control over their health. We, we've seen for many, many years, uh, healthcare has been very fragmented. Uh, you as a patient, your data sits in various different areas, so your doctor, your clinic, your hospital, etc. And uh, typically the patient is really the furthest removed from the, from the environment. We build solutions that ultimately provide the patient with a technology platform to communicate with providers, to gain information about their own healthcare, and, and, and to engage and capture information themselves. The platform we've developed is called 30 Day Health. Why 30 Day? Uh, 30 Day is a unique target right now in the US market. So it, it's the first healthcare environment to have legislated that uh, healthcare providers need to adopt to digital technologies. So under Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act has actually stipulated that if patients are readmitted back into hospital within a period of 30 days, unnecessarily, then that hospital group or provider may be penalized. So we've developed a model to, to build around that and, and hence the name 30 Day Health is that 30 days post hospital discharge is critical. Typically a patient for 30 days can be managed better for the period from the time that they leave hospital for that time frame of 30 days and, and ultimately try and keep them from going back into hospital using really affordable methodologies. So simple things like take your medicine, reminder. Uh, send a message to your nurse who's in the area to, to, to come and help you. Don't go back to the hospital unnecessarily if you, if you don't have to. And, and we see this as a, as a market you know, mover in, in a lot of different systems. So this may be something that applies to the South African healthcare system in, in the not too distant future is that you know, digital health is here, technology is here, it's here to stay. So funders, insurers, hospital groups, doctors need to adopt technology and, and ultimately again patients need to be managed better. So we, we think we're tackling, you know, tackling a unique uh, problem there, um, managing that person, ultimately saving the insurer. but ultimately looking after the care of the patients.